Welcome everybody back to Hogwarts. Today is the, well not today, a few days ago was the fifth year anniversary of the castle. And today I'm being graciously co-hosted by Belkov, who I mentioned uh, a lot in the last update video when we put out the previous download. So today we're just going to go over some new stuff, I guess. And, you know, just do what we usually do on these anniversary videos, which is just show off the castle and say thanks and all that jazz. So, hello, Belkar. <laughs> hello, Mr. Poe. Thanks for having me. I'm oh. excited. It's my pleasure. <laughs> so, you've all seen the castle. It's big. It's pretty. <laughs> Pretty. But uh, there is some new things which we're going to look at. But first, I just want to, again, say uh, thank you to everybody for all of the love on the Hogwarts videos. The, the last one we put out almost has 10k views, which is great. Um... And I just, uh, I really enjoy seeing all the people on the uh, download page saying thank you and and loving what we've put out. It's uh, really humbling. But um, we have this, uh, a new door to the kitchens, which Belkov has worked on. We, um, we changed the hidden door to a, a wooden door and uh, tickling the apple now gives a, a doorknob, right? It should, technically. Yeah, so there's the doorknob, and then now the door opens up. And it'll close on its own. And this doorknob stays here indefinitely. Probably because I'm lazy. Well, I'd say it's probably better to have it there constantly. Yeah, you don't want people to get lost and lock themselves out. The new Hufflepuff common room entrance has a, a door inside the keg, which is a much better depiction than the tiny 2 by one block set that I had there before. It's also more lore friendly. Also that, and I think it's more con in conformity with the books and the wikis yeah. I read. <laughs> so that was, both of those were all your design. I'll tell you guys what, sometimes I just come into this map every, like once in a while and there's just a bunch of new stuff and <laughs> even I have to spend my time trying to find out what's new. So, um, there is new sort of ambiance things to these secret passageways so that they're not ridiculously long, ugly passageways. We not only put teleports in there, but Belkov actually made it look like you can see the other side of where we're going so that it doesn't look so weird when we teleport there. It's not entirely seamless because it has to, the game has to load the blocks, but it looks better than it did. It definitely does look better than it did. And somebody's weed whacking their yard. <laughs> oh yeah, I can hear it. Oh, I got a broken chunk. Oh no. Oh, that's a big broken chunk. No. Oh well. Um, let's actually go look at the room of requirement because you did make changes to the door. I did. I was kind of bored about it. It was one of the first redstone stuff I did here on this map. So well, that's the room of requirements. What got you working here? Yeah, that's correct. That you learn new stuff every day.
So we're going to take... Um... Is it yeah, is it Tom Riddle's diary that... No, no, it's the uh, Half-Blood Princess potion book. Oh yeah, I know. Okay, it's Helga, Helga Hufflepuff's cup. That's what I was... Oh, well, I have Whoops. everything now. So... Um... We're gonna look at... The come and go room. Just so we can look at the door, you know. So here's the, uh... New door. <laughs> Yay. It's much bigger and uh, has an animation now. Boop. It actually closed this time. <laughs> yeah, last time it didn't. I need to still fix it. And just to show you guys that, you know, this stuff does does still change. The room requirement. I can't pick the coin, but okay, there we go. It always takes a second or two. Ta-da! Hey, magic! So that's a new door. Um. Again, all Belkov's design, because I can't use commands to save my life. Yeah, I said before, I can build like you, so we both have our, our merits. Um, oh God, that chunk is fecked up. Yep, that's broken, all right. Whoa, it's growing. No. I'm just gonna fly away and come back and hope that it's gone. You guys can see here that I haven't finished putting all the trees up. Lore breaking. No, that chunk is fucked. Yep. Oh, well, well you guys can separate. see, it. it's actually a pretty cool look inside the Grand Staircase Tower. Yeah, I can totally imagine. You can see every floor in there. That's no, you weird. Can't, you can't get closer because it's still probably rendered, just yeah. invisibly. So what else do we have to look at? Oh well, uh, the greenhouse and what else did we have? can't remember. I think I did something in, with the animation in a Ravenclaw Tower as well. Did you? Was... But that was like a month ago, maybe even longer. Well, I remember um, standing under the the raven, or not the raven, the fucking the eagle, excuse me, purists. Okay, yeah, that's the same as the download version. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, I remember now. It used to be different. Then it did used to be different. It used to have the uh, trap doors. Yep. Which was ugly. It was. We have the girls' lavatories. That's right, the new Chamber of Secrets entrance. My, my personal favorite change... I'm just breaking every window because I don't feel like going all the way around. What is the bell here for? I think somebody, I'm not going to call his name, let's call him Yura. Put it there. So here's the new entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. I wanted to do something like this back when I first made the sink, but obviously stuff like this wasn't possible on the console edition. Yay for command blocks. Woohoo! Wahoo! So, not only is that entrance changed, but so has this one. Bam. So, again, 
the reason Belkov is here. All of this shit is his, and I have not done anything because I'm lazy. I wanted to do that door with the snakes, like in the in the movie, but I could not make it work, or I would have to make the door like that big. It would be impractical. So we also have the new Dumbledore's grave. Oh, you're gonna like this. I changed a bit since yesterday. Oh, did you? Yep. Oh, you did the lightning strike. Oh, that's awesome. Again, the other ones in here. That'll respawn every time you open and close the grave. But the lightning wasn't there. That's that's actually a new, new addition. Yeah, the previous version bugged out a bit. We uh, changed the Whomping Willow to have six-sided logs so you can't see all the ugly ends. Yeah, it looks way better, especially from a distance. Yeah, it actually looks like a tree. Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, we also have the Bobatin's carriage, which has blue text. It's fancy. Uh, again, this is sort of like the the tent that we had before. But uh, you go in, boom. It has the undetectable extension charm. <laughs> showers and bathrooms for the ladies and, and dudes and the dudes. different rooms it's very nice it looks very good especially on the outside I uh, could not have done it better myself because you know I don't work anymore I just let everybody else work for me a good manager. So I think the last thing we have to check out is Gringotts. Oh, yep. Almost forgot about that one. Boop. Although I have a distinct feeling we're forgetting something, but... Yeah, it's all right. Oh, yeah, I uh, I remember. On uh, Nocturne Alley. Nocturne Alley. Put a little something in Bur uh, Bergen... Bergens and Berg. Borkins and Berg, how do you call it? Yeah, Borgens and... Borgen and Berks. I'm used to the Dutch version. I keep screwing up those names. Every single time. You can go up with the stairs now. There was some critique, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> From a certain somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know who you are. Yes, we know. <laughs> Nothing too fancy, but I, I just had to do it. But effective. And I probably wouldn't have probably wouldn't have done it myself. So, kudos. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason those stairs went to nowhere, and it's because I was too lazy to do it myself. On to Green Gods. Yes. So again, oh, Bellatrix's vault's not done because your boy has not built the dragon. But uh, Belkov set up a new minecart system. Use the buttons. Use the Take buttons. It. No, come back. Hmm. I made buttons here, so you can take the minecart for a ride. I have to fix this. I have a button here to visit the regular faults or the one to the strange. And that will just put in the, um, the proper rails to, to get you where you want. Alright, so we're going to roll through. We made uh, these floating tracks this time, so it's a bit more, again, lore friendly. Yeah, as stated before, that was a bitch to get in place. So first vault we have is the uh, Weasley's vault. Again, another animation for the door. The Weasleys don't have much, you know, they got a, a single galleon. <laughs> Percy's old wand, a small pile of sickles. I believe every vault has a minecart in it, so that you don't lose it, right? Yep, correct. Or at least I think. So all of the uh, vaults that you can open have a wooden button as opposed to a stone one. 
so you can kind of tell which ones are which. This one, I believe, is the Potter's Vault, which is full of gold. Go figure. They're rich bastards. He's the rich. Gold bars and galleons. I put arrows on the pillar so you know which way to go. <laughs> As if you really have a choice. Well, you can actually go back. This is Vault 713. This is, for those who know, the vault that had the Philosopher's Stone in it. It also has the Deluminator, the Tales of Beale and Bard, the Golden Snitch, and Dumbledore's Will, all from the Deathly Hollows. He's not dead. What? He's not dead. He lives on. Wasn't there another one on this level, or is that the next one? I think it's... I put one on every level. Yeah, but there's one that has two. Is it? I can't even I remember. So. This one is Professor Quirrell's fault, yep. I believe. So there's a turband, oh, yeah. which needs uh, to be fixed yeah. still. Still, yep. A bizarre and a chocolate frog card. Okay, let me write it down for the record, guys. Turban, not a turband. Not a native Do speaker. Doesn't, um... How was I, I going to say? I think we have one I don't even more. remember. I had something in my head and I lost it. Probably the thing is now that it will not go to Lestrange's fault. It will just keep going because we didn't press the button. Oh. So so we what will we have to, we will have to jump. We'll have to jump. Yeah, because it's gonna go back to the entrance now. Oh, that's okay. There's nothing in Lestrange's vault. That's There's actually correct. There. Not yet. Not yet. I'll get there whenever I decide to build another dragon. I can probably do everything except the dragon. That's a lot of terraforming. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Oh well, somebody had to do it. Oh fuck, I broke a track. No! No! I fixed it. Hey. It's okay. Crisis averted. Alright. That's uh, pretty much uh, all the changes, really. Uh, there's a few other things, but we'll leave that for you guys to find on your own. And perhaps a new download. I might just update the map on MCP DL? I don't know. We'll see. Either way, a version 3 won't be coming for a while, but I might make, you know, just updates. Because you can update a map on there, just like version numbers, whatever. So maybe, maybe I'll get around to that soon. But uh, when it comes to having another part, like this is this current version being part 2, that probably won't change for a while. At least not until we do something, like, really substantial. Yeah, these are all, like, small changes. And yeah, we have some huge stuff to finish still. Oh, these oh, chunks no. are still broken. Not again. It's okay. We'll just end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you're all enjoying the current download of Hogwarts. I'm glad to see that we reached five years. That's a long time. That's half a decade. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Anything you want to say, Belkov? Well, I'm holding an Elder Wand, so f to the people listening and wanting to explore the map, go find the Elder Wand and see what you can do with it, because there's a nice little Easter egg, not even too far from Dumbledore's grave. Yes, it's actually near the uh, carriages. It is. And other than dun, that, dun, dun. Have, have fun with the map, guys. It's been fun making it. It's been even more fun hearing people playing it and having fun with it.
Yeah. See you guys in another life. Bye.